personal robot consists of several parts, which is perception. A robot should be able to see things in the environment, what humans are doing. The second set of project in the personal robot category are robots that can do things into the environment. They have an arm, so they can do things like picking up and placing objects. So one of the goals of the class is to develop a personal robot that can do household chores. Um, the idea is we give some examples of how to place object to the robot and light the robot to learn from these examples. If it's not learning, then we just fix the location so it's like an industrial robot. It will it always do the same thing that move to exactly the same location and do the same thing over and over again. However, for a home assistant robot, it should be more flexible and more robust to a unstructured environment. So this is our robot. Uh, it's named uh, Niccolo after Niccolo Machiavelli. The idea is you assign a task to it and instead of doing the task itself, it's kind of lazy, so it actually delegates the task to other people. It manipulates people into doing what it wants. Looking for people. So you would ask it to get you something, say, get me a cup of coffee, and it wanders around and finds people, and it asks the people if they have a cup of coffee. If they do, it asks for it. If not, it asks the people if they could help the robot by uh, pointing in the direction where they might be able to find coffee. It does this over and over again until it finds coffee, and then, it switches modes and basically it tries to navigate back to the person to give the coffee to. We worked with uh, the drone to try to f uh, escape a building by following exit signs. So we used the, the front camera to uh, take images down a corridor and it would detect the exit sign. Then it would fly toward the exit sign. Uh, once it reached a threshold of the exit sign, it would uh, stop and start looking for where to turn. So if there was an open doorway on one of the sides, we would uh, look for the, use the sonars to detect the change in depth of uh, from the hallway to the doorway, and the robot would then turn and fly through the doorway. This is the what the robot sees. So this is the raw perception uh, data, and the robot, in this case, uh, for placement, it's seeing the objects, um, figuring out what the objects are and then it's trying to figure out where to move them to in the environment using these examples. So it'll sort of recognize, a, depending on how the features are encoded, it'll recognize a kind of a curve on a bowl that's good for grasping or a handle on a mug or a lip of a mug that's good to grasp. Um, and we've trained it on known objects, but the idea is that as humans, we've, we know more about objects than just directly what they are. We know from their shape. What, how they might be manipulated, even if we've never seen the object before. So you train it on a, a small library of known objects, and then potentially you can expand to a much larger library of unforeseen objects. So you don't need to show it all the mugs in the world in order to, to know how to manipulate one mug. Some of the main reasons that some problems in robotics are so hard is because the robot really can't can't think on such a high level as, as, as a person can, but perhaps if we can delegate some of the high level thinking to people, then we can have a robot actually accomplish tasks yeah. that are useful. So for instance, having a robot plan how to get from here down the hall to find some soda is very difficult. But if you can delegate that to a passerby, say, hey, how do I get to room 307? The person actually intuitively can do all these calculations and then just point this way. And then the robot follows instructions. Uh, it first does a body detection, and then um, getting close to it, it starts to uh, look for the body, uh, for, for the face, and then it's trying to keep a constant distance between a person and the robot. So the basic idea of this project is to have a person stand in front of the robot, and we can classify military gestures. So we want to be able to put a robot into a military setting so that the robot can interact with people. Because right now, you'd have to control it with an Xbox controller, and that's not really usable in a military setting. So the end goal, ideally, would be to be able to put a robot, interact in a military setting, and the robot will uh, respond to the, to the person just as any uh, soldier would. Help me by pointing to where I must find them. Fine.